Okay, we're going to show you the strongest anchor with one inch webbing. It's called Redundant Wrap 2 Pull 1. So, it's doubled up one inch webbing. As you can see here, doubled up. Wrap twice. Pull 1. This will hold 9,700 pounds of force. And it's the one inch webbing anchor of choice. So let's show you how to tie this puppy. Okay, it's just an overhand bin or water knot. That's what we got here. So let's start from scratch. So you take your one inch webbing and you double it up. Just fold it in half, match the ends, to equal lengths, both sides. We have it all laid out so it's going to wrap around our anchor smoothly with no twists. Okay, okay. So with that, you take it. You go around twice. So, redundant, wrap, two, pull one. So I gotta wrap it around twice. It's once, going around again. It's a big column, twice. So two times around, okay. Now we're gonna tie our water knot. So, all you're going to do is an overhand knot, like it. And you want a three inch tail, so we'll get about. And then I'm going to take the other side, because these were both matched. These insides, outsides, insides, outsides. We're going to keep them the way it would be if you're tying the shoes. Now we're going to follow this overhand bend through. Just like it's going, we're going to follow it through. Around. And you just keep following it. So you're following it. Just following it. And back through. Get my three inch tail. So work it so I can get my three inch tail on both sides. Push this. There, so now we pull each one individually. Opposite, opposite snug. There we go. That's our water knot. Okay. And then so it's Redundant, which is two pieces of webbing, wrap twice, pull once. So, redundant, wrap two, pull one. And that's it right there. 9,700 pounds of force.